twins. We found out we were having twins at our 20-week ultrasound. We knew pretty quickly something was not right. Twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome is a syndrome where identical twins share a placenta and one of the babies will transfuse to the other baby. That imbalance results in one baby not having enough blood and the other baby having too much. Sonia had what we classify as stage three twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome where the outcomes are, are known to be very poor. The thing that impressed me the most was Dr. Block's his bedside manner, giving us the possible outcomes and not necessarily making it all roses. So we were very well aware that uh, this may or may not work. Fetal medicine is um, the opportunity to intervene in the, really the youngest patients prior to being born. We're able to take Sonia to surgery to be able to laser the placenta and separate those communications and allow the children a few more weeks in utero. Doing our research ahead of time, knowing we were dealing with the twin to twin, we knew that we were probably going to have to make some choices about are we going to stay in here in Minnesota, are we going to have to fly to another state to have it done. We were in a situation where a number of families per year were having to be referred out of the metro area to another state. We don't have a place where when families experience this devastating diagnosis that they can come in this region to receive care. So Dr. Block and I got together and we said, listen, with the skill set that we have in Minneapolis, we absolutely should be able to acquire this new knowledge base and be able to offer this procedure locally. In utero surgery right now is where laparoscopic surgery was 30 years ago. Today we do almost everything laparoscopically. And so the role of in utero surgery right now at the very beginning, and it's just expanding, expanding, expanding. The intricate and complex nature of these surgeries, they're only going to become more complex and more diverse. And to be able to support the Midwest Fetal Care Center and have that piece added as the crown jewel to this hospital. We're right at the forefront of a, a new revolution in in utero surgery, we are going to be doing a number of things inside the womb for the baby that's developing. So it really is an exciting new frontier. We want to become one of the absolute best in the country from a volume standpoint and an outcome standpoint. When he described the procedure and what he was going to do, and, and I just couldn't comprehend it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing skills. You know, I knew how crucial this procedure was. It's like they couldn't have done a better job at just helping me through it. Our care coordinators do a great job of walking the patient through from step to step. We started with a pretty bleak picture and because of what the Midwest Fetal Care Clinic could do for us, look where we are today. I mean, we have two thriving, you know, not just surviving, but thriving twin boys. No. No? no? It's as crazy as it is for anyone who has three young boys and and it's all gloriously normal. <laughs> I'm so enthusiastic about the Fetal Care Center. One of our attitude, one of the legacies we want to promote is a legacy of training others to be part of an exciting new technology. Operating on babies when they're 17 weeks old inside the womb, seeing babies when they're 17 weeks old inside the womb, to be able to be part of that, especially at a developing, nationally recognized program. And so to have key players, leaders in the community, really step up, they see the future, they see the greater good that's about moving the ball down the field and how can we affect change. When these therapies become more developed, when you're talking about genomic therapy or you're talking about more advanced healing of spina bifida in utero, we're gonna be in a position where we can address that. And it's moving quickly, it's moving fast. And if we can get in place this program, we're gonna be ready if we have the money to do it and we want it here in the state of Minnesota to serve this whole region. Dump truck. Dump truck. You can't choose when you're gonna have healthy kids and when you're not. And to have the resource of being able to find someone that can help you through it, not just the procedures, but the financial aspect of it, because that alone prevents people from doing a lot of things that's gonna save the lives of their kids. And that's exactly what happened for us. We've had a number of families who have been told at other institutions that there really is no hope for their baby. And they've come here and we haven't agreed with that. And we've been able to offer hope. 
and I think of some of their primary nurses that just loved them up and just that was a huge comfort for us, I think, to just know that they were just cherished. We went to the right place at the right time with the right people and they saved our kids' lives.